But Kavino, I know uh, you saw the good news that Andy Dalton and his family, mm-hmm. they're good, right? Yeah, no, that's uh, very good news because that's scary. I got in a car accident not even a month ago. Everybody heard about it. And this one seemed to be a little more severe because his whole family was there. Now he has a sprained thumb, so he's out this week. But again, they're happy to be alive. In fact, uh, happy to be safe, as she put out there on social media. Now, this did get us thinking because Andy Dalton, arguably one of the more successful redheaded athletes in sports today. I mean, he's an NFL quarterback. I mean, that's that's pretty uh, top of the line as far as success. So I ask you, can you come up with a better Mount Rushmore of redheads than I can? Because I feel like I nailed it. I feel like I got it. In sports or period in life? Enter the entertainment space. I don't want you to be like, uh, you know, well, you know, you could add Oliver from uh, Brady Bunch, but I would not. That's not a good one. Um, I'll, you mean, are you thinking of Opie? Are you thinking of Richard Cunningham? My Oliver, of Oliver had a nerd. pumpkin pie haircut. He had like a little blonde bowl cut. Okay, uh, so forget him then. So uh, I think Canelo Alvarez is a legend, Vato Loco forever. And the fact that he's Mexican with red hair you know, makes him extremely unique. Think about his story. His story is sort of like uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He was the laughing stock of the of the barrio, and now he's the fighting pride of of Mexico. Like, now he's their hero with red hair. Um, my, how about Verdugo my, as we head into the World Series? Another Vato yeah, Loco with red hair. What are you, put a Justin Turner on the list, too? This is an elite list, and, elite? I, and I got like, it right All right, here. Conan O'Brien. Okay, well, let me tell you what I got. And you tell me if you could debate this. Conan O'Brien. I got Conan O'Brien. Oh, wow. That was just a guess. I, I'm a huge Conan fan. Yeah, but I didn't know he was on your Mount Rushmore of, of celebrity redheads. Hey, uh, I was saying, do you know what year I started liking Conan O'Brien? Man, that's a tough um, one. Let me, take a, let me take a guess here. And, uh, you know, hold just on. looking at I his take, digital yeah, wall. Just, just, yeah. How about this year? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, how'd you guess? Man. So I'm going to go Conan O'Brien, Canelo Alvarez. Oh, wow. Canelo Louis made your C. list. K. Louis C.K. Oh, you're crazy for that one. That's controversial. And Ed, yeah. and Ed Sheeran. Oh, my goodness. I mean, every list is made with the intent of garnering some sort of reaction. Come on, Louis C.K. Now, I don't know if you really believe that, dude, or if you really are leaning. You're going to say he's bigger than Bill Burr? Bill Burr's a ginger. Yeah, Bill Burr shaved his head, though. It doesn't count no more. Hey, I'm a Louis C.K. fan. In fact, he's another redheaded half kind of sort of vato loco forever. But he's on your Mount Rushmore? Dude, what about I mean, Sam, what, what about uh, Sam Darnold? What, what do you want me to put? Uh, Ron Howard on the list? I'm telling yes. you who I like. You know like. what? Hold on. Hold up. For you to put Louis C.K. over Ron Howard – Tells me you didn't put much thought into this. Ron Howard is the king of all redheads. There's no one more Mastodon and Mamethian than Ron Howard in the ginger world. He's the the most successful by far of anyone we mentioned. Big time you movie producer. Yeah. You, you know what Louis C.K. does me, he makes me do all the time? <laughs> Laugh. Yeah, but that's not bigger than Ron Howard. Um, Canelo has brought me joy watching some great boxing. Conan O'Brien laughs for decades, and Ed Sheeran is one of my favorite artists. I mean, he's defied all odds. Okay, Goofy so redheaded guy is awesome. This isn't like the real redhead Mount. This is like Rich's Mount Rushmore because, you know, I love Ed Sheeran too. He might be on it because he's so damn talented. But I'm thinking David Bowie. Was, was that a red wig? <laughs> is he the that most famous? Count. I don't know. Is he the most famous redheaded guy in music? Think about it. I don't know. You got to throw Howdy Doody in consideration here. How could you guys leave Queen Elizabeth off this list? What? I, 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 Fergie. Fergie, yeah. Rich was a Prince big fan. Yes. Sorry. Oh, red, 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 who's Redhead? I mean, I feel like, I, I feel like I've thought Rich, this out, Camino. You Rich make it seem like put, I put no effort. Rich wants to put Little Orphan Annie on there. Um, the sun will come <laughs> hold out on. tomorrow. I'd say you have to have Ron Howard if we're making a universal one. That's yours, Rich, and I respect it. Everybody's entitled to their own top four. I found a list of redheads. Their own. Uh, you know what? I want to hear your uh, list here, Iowa Sam. There's a lot of women, especially, but like Danny Bonaducci's on there. Yeah. Uh, Julianne <laughs> no. Moore. Yeah. Huh? Christina um, Hendricks is on mine. 
for Steve. two obvious no, no, reasons. No, no, not parts of her body. Her he- like Marsha the- Cross. No, her talent and her beauty. Okay. Yeah. Amy Adams are saying is redhead. Yeah. She's a natural blonde, though. Yo, know, Amy Adams is delightful. I she might be on my my Mount Rushmore too. She's super talented. Who else? Isla Fisher. She's a redhead. Yeah. 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 Some people get those two confused. Okay, so Deborah basically, Messing. what we're asking here in tribute to the good news. Oh, Nicole Kidman. The really good she's news. She's like a strawberry blonde. About Andy Dalton. <laughs> okay. By, by the way, did you hear the Nicole Kidman story? Oh yeah, it's steamy. Yeah. Spot, throw that in midweek major just to, if he has a bonus. Okay. Well, okay, that has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, but okay. Up. Yeah, pervert alert. <laughs> Uh, There's so many other stories I could include, but sure, I'll include that uh, one. The junk show was yesterday. In honor of Damn it. Andy Dalton's maybe that, health. Maybe that, align, maybe that aligns with me putting Louis C.K. on my list. Andy Dalton, he, he's fine. The family was involved in a car accident. He's, there is an update to that story. Dan By already mentioned it, but that means that Bryce Young does get to start his first start since week two. So we right. got Bryce Young starting. Andy Dalton's all good. His thumb is recovering yeah. the family's fine he was back Again, his wife put out an announcement but because of the andy dalton story we're like is he like a mount rushmore athlete redhead kind of guy so that got us thinking of your redheaded ginger mount rushmore but uh dalton was at practice today yeah that's great news man so, yeah, yeah really because it yeah. could be really scary so he was checked out everything good Based uh, on that. Not necessarily true, but that's okay. Uh, sprained thumb, he's going to try to be the number two quarterback. But Spot, if you want to do my job, that's totally fine. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Returns to practice facility a day after shock car crash. Uh, Scary moment for sure. Yeah. Everyone was okay. This is the head coach. This is the head coach. in the accident, he did sprain his thumb. So mm. Bryce will be playing this week, and we'll be evaluating Andy day-to-day going into this weekend to see if we can get him up as the two on game day. I there it is. I there it is. Did I say he was going to be the QB? I just uh, said you that said everything returned. was fine, Spot. I That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying for it. Out. Okay. Okay. What you're doing is you're forgetting that Spot is the know-it-all of the show. Yeah, come on. How dare you? <laughs> he doesn't drink wow. the Klug game. Stick to the real news. <laughs> yeah, the Klug Shizer Spot. So, based on Andy Dalton, do you respect or disrespect? Rich's Mount Rushmore, do you give it the boom or the doom? I'm giving it the boom, What's dude. your four again, Rich, again? What's your four? <laughs> My four are Conan right. O'Brien. I like the Conan, Conan one. I can agree on I, that one. Y'all sly. Canelo Alvarez. I, I can't deny Canelo and his his impact on the sport. Take away his creepy moment. Think of how Louis C.K. has made you laugh. No way. And I love Louis C.K. No, And he has a tainted history. No way. He's and on the creepo end. list. Who? So, so based on that, there's someone else way more deserving than Louis C.K. for as much as I like him. Okay, so oh, I find you, another. you'll agree. Rupert <laughs> Grint. Got? He's a redhead. I do. Uh, Ron it. Weasley. from Stop Rupert it. Grint from... Uh, yeah, Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley, yeah. He, doesn't make, he makes mountain nothing. Don't he, you... <laughs> Carrot well, Top. He, he's not on my mountain. What about Carrot you Top? You know what? The guy could buy put his own carrot, mountain put with Put Carrot Top on money. there. Carrot Top I mean, well, hung out on our show at the Super Bowl, and he's you know been entertaining with props for uh, forty years. I DB? Yeah, I said Carrot Top. <laughs> yeah, Camino's looking at yeah. I, I heard a voice. I didn't know if, where it came from. Uh, Carrot Top. I love Carrot Top. I can't deny Carrot Top. He's a, he's been around for so long, dude. He was doing Johnny Carson, and we still talk about. Carrot he's like Top. sixty years yeah, old. Yeah, that's his yeah. name too. Like I mean that it's. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, what I don't get about a carrot top is the top of a carrot is actually green. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, but here's here's what I say to, to carrot top. <laughs> no, no, it's no, it's not. Don't don't don't. Yeah, don't it is. Tell it's ironic. The top of a carrot is green. I never Pull it out of the it. top. The I would put orange. carrot top over Louis C.K. just because he has such legacy and he that's his name. It's not like Louis C.K. is like yeah, I'm Ginger Man or anything like that. He owns that. <laughs> Gingerbread man. Yeah. How about so, uh, how about three time Olympic gold medalist Sean White? Yeah, I thought of him oh, immediately. He's a true dude. ginger. He's a true carrot. Yeah, carrot's part of his nickname. Well, right? hold on. Here the only way that he's not on the on the Mount Rushmore because he's like a legitimate bona fide medalist, superstar, all this, right? If you look at recent pictures of him, is sort of he he's sort of abandoned or he outgrew it. Like his hair's brown now. Oh, he could run from it, but yeah. <laughs> He's the still highlights a ginger. Live on. He's still yeah. a ginger. You know what, Rich? Yeah, it's like if gone you were brown do, now. If you were going to do a legitimate list, not just Rich's list, right? You'd probably have Sean White, Ron Howard, 
Man. You, you can't uh, can leave I put Conan. Conan <laughs> and Canella. I think those are the four most mammoth redheads, I think, in history of awesome. Is is Mike Schmidt too old? Yeah, he did have red hair, huh? I think he's like brownish red mustache. Is it red? Was I he- think if we did this like 40 years ago, he'd be like right at the top. You know, there's those debatable people. When you look this up, because we asked Mike who runs this place before. Who? Yeah, and he Chuck- doesn't run this place. Just for anybody who's oh, listening, right. he doesn't have any power whatsoever here <laughs> at Chuck- Fox Sports Radio. Chuck Norris came up. And we're like, he's not a redhead. Like, but Chuck Norris always comes up. Like, he's a ginger. He's not a ginger. I, so I, I feel like Mike Schmidt is one of those borderline guys. Yeah, you know, I I, I feel you on that. It's like eh, I don't know because I agree, Mike Schmidt, mammoth, damn by. If I considered him a redhead, I might put him on the it. list. But he's too. Dude, he's, he's too strawberry blonde. Hall of Famer, five hundred home yeah. run, uh, home runs, legendary third baseman. Yeah, if if we, he really fell into that credit category, he, I'm knocking out somebody and putting him in. All right, so if there's any other honorable mentions based on this Andy Dalton news that we got today, and again, the update was, because Dan announced this yesterday, but the update is that Bryce Young gets to start because of the thumb. Um, What are your thoughts? Who would you add or take off? Who are we forgetting? Pete in Vegas, you're on the Covino and Rich Show, 877-99 on Fox. Hi, guys. You're forgetting a great Met, LeGrand Orange, Rusty Stott. Oh, my God. How could I? Mr. Met himself forget Rusty Staub. In 86, they all come out with ginger wigs to pay tribute to him. He's in the all conversation. Right. He he could be on your Mount Rushmore. He's, he's not on the Mount Rushmore. He's on the ginger bench. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's he's a there, difference. He's there watching. With all due respect to the redheads out there, there's levels. He's a ginger. When you are like orange haired, that's a little bit of a rougher life. To be a the man and be an orange haired guy, that's so that's like Rusty Staub, Ed Sheeran. I mean, that's a different level. Oh, you get extra I, level credit when you're like when you lean really orange. Yeah. I was at a funeral once and I wondered if someone there was Rusty Staub. So I had to look it up like I because of the red hair factor to your yeah. point yeah. of I'm like, well, he's probably a little bit older. Uh, by the way, it wasn't him. It was not him. <laughs> but to what Rich is saying, like when they have the red hair, yeah. Oh, wow. You yeah, know, it I wasn't know. borderline at all. Um, no. I'm, I got his rookie card. It's one with those multiple faces. I think it's a 1963 special. You want it, Rich? I'll sell it to you. Yeah, for two it's bucks. A him, Howdy Doody, and who else? <laughs> no, I do. I have it. Um, who else are we forgetting? Who else comes to mind? Is uh, Pete in Vegas still there or no? Who do we got, Danny G? The phone lines are actually starting to melt right now, so I'm getting the, uh, what, the lines all screened. This is the hot screened. topic of the day. Yeah, well, are you well, joking I mean, me? Who would have thought? Mean, we went dummy Camino. fishing. We caught million. We caught a million dummies. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> People are like, I know redhead. I just want to nominate my boy Fred. Uh, let me tell you, it's uh, his hair is nice red. To know. It's nice to know. We call him Fredhead. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, Andy Dalton can't spell be okay Fred without his, red, and his family's fine. But hey. Um, it got us thinking of uh, all the redheads out there. And Ed Sheeran and Conan are hard to take off my list, Camino and Canelo. So it's that fourth spot I think I'm really looking for if you don't. Because Louis C.K., I, I feel you. You know, How that might this, not Rich? be the one. Growing up in New York, DJ Red Alert. He had oh. red hair and freckles. DJ Red Alert. Oh, my God. Give him that's some a good one. That, for also for diversity. Like, we don't have any black guys with red hair on this list. Yeah. That's a good one. How often, how often do you look at a man's shoes? And how often do you see... A man of color with red hair. DJ Red Alert had red hair and freckles like red from Shawshank. I know. So anyway, uh, give us your your nomination, I guess, for an official, not your personal, an official top four. You know what, Rich? When it comes to your personal, yeah, Ed Sheeran might be on that one, bro. He is. He's a beast. Uh, in the music yeah. world, and he garners a lot of respect. So I would not. Oh, well, what about. See, this is very male driven in this conversation. What about. Why am I drawing a blank on her name? Rumor has it. Adele? Adele? Yeah, what about Adele? She's a redhead, is she not? Uh, what, what about. You, you were talking about Ginger. What, what about, about Reba? Ginger from Gilligan's Island. Oh. You're talking singers. You just made me think of Rick Astley. 
He was oh, a ginger. Yeah, yeah but you know what? You up or let you down. Reba's no a good, Reba's Reba's a good answer. Reba, Reba, right? Like, Reba. So yeah. th- we're forgetting we excluded She's women, survivor. you sexist host. What about like <laughs> Lucille Ball? But wait, did she dye her hair? Yeah, oh my God. Lucille Ball. But we see her in black and white so much that you. All right, now we're just going it. off the rails no, here. I know we really are. <laughs> I started with Rupert Grant wait, and it went all downhill. How from do there. women not count? Did we no, say I, a man? Julian only? Moore and a couple others. Yeah, we named some females. Yeah, but Rich was like Louis C.K. and we just named like like three legendary redheaded women. Did you know the less. You know, you know what's than- funny? Sorry. Can I make a, an observation? I'm curious if anyone else can relate to this. Anyone else's grandfather or an older generation. Have something about redheads. I feel like yeah. my grandfather always used to be like, "Oh, redheads!" Like that generation, like a the Cherry World Valance. War II, the the greatest generation of men, World War II type of folks loved redheads. Less than two percent of the world's population is ginger. Did you know that? Yeah, I, I think they're gonna uh, be extinct eventually. Seriously, I I, I read that somewhere. Because yeah. you oh. read that somewhere. He read that. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was like, uh, is it, give me that. Wasn't it Wooly, Wooly Mammoths and uh, Bigfoot and uh, then Redheads? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. I can't believe of all the things that we talked about today. I've had more Bigfoot sightings than Redhead sightings. I really yeah. thought we were on to something when we were talking no. about Fernando Valenzuela, when we were talking about Bronny. Yeah. But no, no, you bring up Redheads. The phones light up. Andy Dalton not playing this week, but his family's good after the car accident. They're all good. His wife, Jordan, put out a public statement, but the update was that Bryce Young is getting the start against Denver, his first since week two. And speaking of Bryce and Redheads, how about Bryce Dallas Howard? How about Ron Howard's daughter? Oh, yeah. Swing, swing. And speaking of swings and nominations, Len in Idaho said Raquel Welch. So, oh, dude, yeah. good one. Based on the Andy Dalton, who, by the way, if there was a redheaded just for men, is there a redheaded just for men? He should be on the box. It should be called <laughs> just for Andy. That's a good one. Who else would you put, or who would you put on that redheaded Mount Rushmore? I don't like doing the Mount Rushmore stuff so much, but it really is fun to think about because they're so unique and there's so many great examples, right? Just in sports alone, we named Dalton. Canelo, uh, we mentioned Sam Darnold, right? So who would you put on that Mount Rushmore? Let's do a little crossfire, Rich. We're going to go to your phones Ooh. now at 877 on Fox. We're live from the TireRack.com studio. Quick thanks to Rapid Radios, the official communication device of Fox Sports Radio. Rapid Radios are instant push-to-talk walkie-talkies with national LTE coverage. For a limited time, go to RapidRadios.com. You'll get up to 60% off free UPS shipping and a free protection bag. Add code RADIO. You get an extra 5% off. Got to go to the phones. Got to have time for midweek major. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's we start, got. Uh, yeah, let's start with Trip in Vegas. Hey, Trip. Hey, gentlemen. Uh, good afternoon. Great show as always. I got three quick ones. Uh, maybe Lucille Ball, Reba yeah. McIntyre. Yeah. And then how about Prince Harry? You know, I mean, it's a prince. I mean, but those are all great answers. Prince Harry, though, I, I don't. He's not on my list. But the other two, how could he deny him? That's why this is really hard. Because they stand out so much. But thank you, man. Let's make it quick. Jason, you're next. Jason in Fresno, you're on the CNR show. All right. I got Jim Thorpe, Mary Lou Retton, and uh, Kyler from Beavis and Butthead. Mary Lou Retton <laughs> had brown hair, in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but thank you for playing along, Jason. Let's do rapid fire. Crossfire! Yeah, it's Leica in Reno. Leica in Reno. You're on. Bang, bang. Let's go. Hey, I got three. How about Ann Margaret, Circa Viva Las Vegas with Elvis, and Red Fox, and I also go with Lucille Ball, but Red Fox, man. A Red Fox bit. is the one. Uh, Elizabeth Lamont, you big dummy. You big dummy. <laughs> Dude, I mean, he's he might be on the comedian Mount Rushmore. Red Fox is in the conversation, so hey, thank you very much. Miles, Lancaster, California, you're on CNR. Okay, well, you guys were driving me nuts by not saying Bill Walton. Oh, wow. Uh, Bill Good Walton. One. Yeah. yeah. Dude. You see, he might be on, and that's not fair because it's got to be the top four of all time, right? But if we're doing a sports mm-hmm. one, Bill Walton might be that fourth guy. All right, we're going to wrap it up with Hugh in Ohio. What up, Hugh? How about two-time Academy Award winner Emma Stone? Yeah, dude, yeah. she's hot. That's a good one. I like her. She's talented. Wow, man. I like Amy Adams better, but thank you guys.